Welcome back to Elsinore. Last episode, we went through the whole storyline where we tried to kill Quince with the help of everybody else in the castle, after we convinced them. And, well, we sort of killed them for the moment. And then it sort of seemed like everything was fine, but we were pretty sure it was a trick. And then, well, it was a trick. <laughs> not, not all that surprisingly. Quince is a slippery little fucker, and simply stabbing them doesn't do much of anything. Uh, it's been a couple weeks since I've recorded, since I've been sick, and this game requires constant talking, so I've waited for my voice to fully recover. So I feel a little thrown off just by the fact that it's been a couple weeks. And also, even though I went over the last episode, I still don't really know exactly what I want to do. We don't have a lot of leads left. I don't really know what to do for the leads that I have. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of flail around a bit until I find a direction to go in, I suppose. Uh, this is what we have for our leads, just for Prince's Ambitions, the Playmaster, Claudia's Coming Undone, and Prince Fortinbras' Threat. Prince Fortinbras' Threat, uh, to advance that, requires me to keep everybody alive so that Fortinbras can't escape the jail or the prison or whatever. I don't think that's going to happen. I, I guess I could try to see if I can find a way to keep everybody alive, but I don't don't think I want to try that. Claudia's coming undone. I'm not sure what I need to do to advance this. The Playmaster, I'm not sure what I need to do to advance this either. The Prince's Ambitions, I think I maybe know how to advance that. I think I just have to get back together with Hamlet and make sure that they stay alive and everything goes okay and somehow the king dies. Maybe. That's a maybe. That's about it. Um... We do also have all of the endings that I want to unlock from the hand of Dionysus. I want to be able to choose from all of the potential fates. I want to have the widest choice possible before I finally decide. So I could look at that book and just figure out, based on the names of the uncompleted endings, possibly what I need to do to get that ending. So I could do that. What I want to do now, though, I think, first, is see if we can do something with Quince. Like, like, now that I know that simply stabbing them is not enough, what if I tell a ghost about that? Would they be able to help me at all? Is that a complete dead end? Or can we regroup and try to think of something else? I don't know. It doesn't seem to be in the Playmaster lead, surprisingly. Like, it just says, we did it, we killed him, we're free, we're really free. Is it over? It must be. I can hardly believe it. The rest of my life begins today. It doesn't even have any update for the fact that it was a trick. Which is kind of weird, actually. What the hell was that? I just heard this sound. It sounded like death breathing on my neck. I was just going down the stairs to just mess around and go to a place. I thought... I heard. Huh. Ah! King Hamlet! Okay, I think this is our path forwards. How? It is with my last fragments of will that I appear to you. I do not know how long I can linger. I'm sorry. I didn't think the plan would turn out like this. There has to be another way. Something else I can try. Killing him didn't work. But maybe... Maybe there's another way. No. No, Ophelia. There is no other way. What he says is true. I know that now more than ever. The confines surrounding this world are insurmountable. Ophelia, there will be no way out from this. I... I don't understand. What's the point, Hamlet, of any of this? I just want to give up, the way you did, and be done with it. I'm so tired. The only way out is to sentence some of my friends to die. 
No matter what I do, someone is going to die. I can't save them. I can't do it. There's no good ending. There's no good world. I've tried everything I could. That kind of world was never a possible outcome for you, Ophelia. No such world of eternal bliss exists for you or for anyone on earth. And it never shall. But there is something even more powerful. What? It is the oldest, most primal power of humankind. Choice. The power to choose with kindness and wisdom is the only thing separating human beings from utter darkness. You have seen the possibilities of this universe. Now it's up to you to envision its fate. Let me be clear. There is no perfect world to be found. Okay. Yeah, so something I said at the end of the last episode was that I felt like the game was trying to push me in the direction of there not being a perfect world, but I wasn't sure if that was the case. And so long as there was a possibility that that wasn't the case, I wanted to try to look for a perfect world just in case it did actually exist. You won't find something you don't search for. But this is laying it out very plainly, which is good because it needs to be laying out plainly or I wouldn't accept it. There is no perfect world. This is... Uh, that is not how the game works. Or whatever it is that Quince said in the last episode. It's the title of the episode, but I forgot what it was. But the choice between worlds is a power so critical as to be divinely given, is it not? Freedom of will. The first and last gift granted to Eve herself. Yes. Free will is a sword to cut through the darkness. It is a small boat we cling to in this lifelong storm. And that, Ophelia, is everything. You must choose, and you must then live in the world which comes from it. You must do the thing you fear most, and move forward rather than back. I don't want to leave. As long as I stay here, it's as though there's something new I can try. Some new way out to discover. What if I burn the book? What if I destroy it? You would punish Quince, but you would condemn every human heart in this castle to their fates. You'd abandon them. I... this is... But there has to be another way. A good way. A best path. No. Perfection is impossible. No such world could ever exist. Not so long as imperfect human beings fill it. Use the Book of Fates, Ophelia. Do what I could not. Refuse to give up. I will. Much as I don't want to. I promise. <gasps> not long now. If only I had known the kind of strength you possess when I was alive, child. Though your body might be frail, you are brilliant as the sun. Someday, many years hence, let us play a game of chess together sometime. Or walk amongst these verdant, shimmering gardens I once slept in peacefully. I hope it is permissible that I call you a friend in death though I hardly knew you in life. Of course. Of course it is. I'm certain we'll see one another again. It is the end. And I am not afraid. Goodbye, King Hamlet. I'll find a way to make all this worthwhile. Whatever that end is, I promise. Okay, so that updated the leads. Ah, it actually got rid of the lead for the Playmaster. Finished it. King Hamlet said it best. 
There will be no way out from this. The Playmaster cannot be defeated or outsmarted. This tragedy is inescapable. But within the confines that bind me, there is choice. That's all I have left to cling to. Yeah, so we don't have much left by way of leads. Just three. Vast majority are done. We do have quite a few unfound endings, though. Um, what happened to the character entry for the ghost that also updated? King Hamlet appeared before me one final time. He told me that there will be no true ending, no right ending. There is no such thing as happiness. All that remains is my power to choose. He urged me to use it wisely. He said that whatever I do, I must use it, not simply give up, as he did. And he called me his friend. I think, I think it makes the most sense to try to pursue the leads before trying to pursue the endings in the Hand of Dionysus, because new leads being progressed should lead to new endings. So, let's try to do the Prince's Ambitions? Yeah, let's... Let's do that. So, step one of that, I think, is just to get back together with Hamlet. I tried to get back together with Hamlet, but turns out I can't do that until Hamlet's dark work is complete, is I think how it was put. Which is killing their uncle. Um, so... One thing I'm trying to do to get the uncle killed but leave Hamlet alive is see if I can... See if I can somehow get the uncle poisoned. So I just told Hamlet about uh, uh, Claudius' secret poison stash. I, I don't think I've ever told Hamlet about that before. And I'm guessing between finding poison and thinking that they killed their father, because they did, maybe they're going to use that poison. When's about a future event in which Hamlet follows up on my claim that Claudius is stashing poison? Yes, when is that going to happen? Oh, very soon. He must have something hidden here. I know it. This vase... What's this? In the bottom, something small. A vial. That scent. I know that scent. Hemlock. Oh, Claudius. You've been a rotten, vile beast, haven't you? And now it's time to pay for your crimes. The proof is in hand. What must be done? Okay, with proof in hand, what happens now? Oh. I've got it. I found it. In its chambers, just as you described. It was the final proof I needed. Let me not pause further. Let this proof unstick me. I see. And what will you do now? Take the matter to him plainly, without further ado. You'll see. I promise. My heart is resolved for the first time in months. Claudius killed my father. I feel it firmly in my gut, and he'll kill again if he isn't stopped. We cannot let that happen. Future event in which Hamlet confronts Claudius about the murder of his father. Okay, when is that? Oh. Oh, that's much later. Very, very early morning slash kind of in the middle of the night. Is it happening in the chambers? Ah, Hamlet's chambers. Okay. It's about to happen. Hamlet's just been pacing around their chambers for about four hours. Here we go. Uncle. Thank you for agreeing to meet me. Of course. What's this about, Hamlet? I have just one question to ask. Of course, 
Anything. Murderer. I know you killed him. I have proof. A trusted witness. All I want to know is... Why? What? Killed who? I don't know what you mean. Liar. Don't play me for a fool. I know you took my father's life. I know with certainty. I have no intentions of telling anyone else, but I wanted to hear the truth from you. I knew this day might come, but I didn't know when. Perhaps in my heart I've been quietly praying for you to know the truth. Mercy. Have mercy, Hamlet. I killed him, but I live with the weight of a regret so deep I cannot touch the bottom. I have punished myself enough for my crime. <laughs> oh, have you? <laughs> You're the one that gets to decide that you've suffered enough? I know it was wrong to have done it. I know it now with everything in my soul. <laughs> if, if you have only a shred of mercy within your heart, cling to that and let it fill you. It would bear you a rich reward. We could rule together. You could be prince, not only in name, but in act and deed. The country would love you for it. Can you imagine? And with my expertise on the throne now, I'd be able to tutor you. Preparing you for the day when you would become king yourself. Claudius, you're such a shit. I swear it. Yes. That's how I could make this right, I think. Restore you to where you ought to be. Where my brother would have wanted you. So. You're saying. It's true. You. You really did kill him. I see. I... I... I find your offer... intriguing. I think that would ease Father's spirit, knowing I was preparing to take his place. Yes. Let me contemplate the offer. Nephew. Do you truly mean it? Oh, my boy. My poor nephew. I cannot apologize enough. Yes. I need a night's time to think it over, and to pray. We'll speak further after that. Of, of course. Anything you desire. Anything at all. First, I want you to do one thing. I've witnessed my father's spirit, uncle. I spoke to it. You see father's portrait there on the wall. Of course. Ah. It's strange. I've not seen it in the gallery in months. He looked so cruel there. My brother was a stern man, but the cruelty he earned from our own father. What would you say to him? Brother? I, I'd say... Why, there's so much to say. <sighs> yeah. I knew that Hamlet was not seriously considering that offer. Bastard. I don't give a damn. You and your apologies can burn in hell. I loved my father with all my heart, as did his country, and you took him from all of us. No peace offering of power can bring him back from the dead, or save your soul. <sighs> At last. At last. He is justly served. So... What happens in this timeline? I mean, obviously we don't know because this has never happened like this before. But... Are the rest of the people going to accept this from Hamlet? Are they going to believe that Claudius did really kill their father? Or are they going to go, hey, Hamlet murdered Claudius. Uh, lock him up. Execute them. Whatever. I don't know. We'll see. Well. Mm, in this case, I am going to listen to the announcement. 
Mm, some troubling circumstances. Emergency. The king has passed. As a result, no festivals or celebrations will be observed for some days. His Majesty and the Prince. Uh, well, I'll leave it to His Highness to describe what transpired between them. Needless to say, it was a tragic accident. We shall all mourn him deeply. <laughs> accident? Good riddance, I say. His Majesty? The nobility will soon meet to arrange a vote. In the interim, by our custom, Hamlet would traditionally carry on the duties his uncle leaves behind. My lord, are you prepared for that? If that's what I must do. I need some time to think about it. But I think my own father would have wanted this of me, for me to take the throne. You don't have to do this, my prince. Please, just give me time. Of course, as you wish. I apologize, everyone, for the disturbance. Um... Oh, whoops, didn't mean to skip that. Oh, hey. Ophelia? A word in private, please. Uh. He's dead. I can scarcely believe it. Just wish I knew what father would say. I... I never thought I'd make it this long. I thought... Um, I think... Yeah, I think we've seen this before. That one, at least one time that we managed to get back together with Hamlet. And they started to plan out how they wanted to rule the country and the castle. I think this is the conversation we had. And they offer to rekindle our relationship. Yes. Right, so the thing that happens next is where Hamlet says that they're going to think of... They're going to try to plan out how they want to rule. And we're going to discuss it Saturday night right here. Hamlet and I discuss how we will rule. Or how he will rule, rather. Before that... We have an event that I want to watch. Um, Horatio educates Hamlet about the future before him. I don't remember and I don't think that we attended that last time we were in this situation. And I also have a vague memory of like, we should tell people that Hamlet needs advice. Like, I remember when we ended up meeting back up with Hamlet about how he should rule that he said something like, since I didn't hear from anybody about how I should rule, something like that, like, like I should have told some people to give him advice or something? Or maybe I should have given, given him advice beforehand? I'm not sure. But I need to try some things, talk to some people, see if I can advise Hamlet before we meet up again about how to rule. But for now, Horatio and Hamlet in here in just a minute. Hamlet. I... It's as if nothing's changed. He's dead, and all moves on without him. Though surely, I know my mother grieves him. Perhaps the moment after one's king has been taken is a quiet one. The game is over and must be started anew. And now I line myself up on the edge of the board ready to fight in his stead. <laughs> Hamlet. <laughs> this should be a moment of triumph for you. This is what your father wanted, isn't it? You've eliminated the fox from your henhouse. Murder has been answered with its own kind. Come now, isn't that cause for celebration? No. My father is still dead. I thought Claudius's death would make it all feel right, but it doesn't. It's exactly the same, and now somehow worse. I never wanted to be king, and I'm going to fail them all. How long will it take them to realize what an idiot I am if they haven't yet? How useless I am, no less a pretender than my uncle. Hamlet? Look at me. Chin up. Ah. Uh. That's a good lad. Now, deep breath. A big one. There. I see a little color in your cheeks. Okay, this sounds vaguely familiar. I think we didn't attend this before, but I still want to see it again. Feeling any better? Horatio. 
I don't deserve you, really. No, you kind of don't, Hamlet. <laughs> I know. And yet, here I am. The road before you is a difficult one. But it is when many men have trodden before you and will tread after you're gone. You can do this. I promise it. I have everlasting faith in you and the goodness that lies within your frail little heart. And if you cannot believe in your own heart, believe in my good taste, at least. You need to face this head on, and you shall. In a scant few days' time, when all this is past, you will go before the nobility and ask their vote to wear the crown. If you can find it within you to be ready for that day, then you will make a great king. My thanks. You're right. The time has come to put aside childish things. Never forget that I'm here. <laughs> and Ophelia is here, even if she likes to skulk around pretending we don't see her. Oh. And as long as you have friends in this world, you can do just about anything. Now go about your business as usual. But keep your head turned up and your shoulders back. Act like the king you will be. I will. Thank you both. This was... This is... Exactly what I needed. Farewell. You know where to find me if you need me. Aha, yes, I can talk to some people, at least Horatio. About, uh, giving advice to Hamlet. Hamlet seeks advice on how to be a great ruler. Can you help? Horatio. What? Hamlet? Seeking advice? Is he broken? <laughs> it's a little sad how worried it makes me to hear this. It's a positive change, Horatio. He's a new man in some ways. Goodbye. Well, that's a relief. I've got all the time in the world for him. I'll find him. Future of Venomich Hamlet gets some much needed advice. Is that right? Oh yeah, that's right now. Well, I guess you found him. Turned around. And there he was. Ah, but this is not the place. What is the place? <laughs> Heard you were looking for encouragement, so I came to find you. Yes. You more than anyone else, my friend. What advice do you have for me? More warnings than wisdoms, unfortunately. I fought beside your father when he went to war. I saw the way he rallied the Danish nobility to his cause. And then I witnessed your uncle cast them aside, leaving them angry and unsettled. He pretended they didn't exist. Currently, a great deal of them are quite angry at you, and it will fall to your shoulders to settle their hearts. Do you think you're up to the task? I... I don't know. I think so? It feels like I've inherited a court full of men who hate and fear me. Perhaps if you can assuage the enemies outside your court... Is that pronounced assuage? 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 Uh, you can deal with the ones within. Enemies within? Who do you mean? You know well enough who I mean. Who has treated you with stable revulsion for years? Who has claim to the throne? Laertes. Aye. And you'll not be thrilled to hear you've taken your uncle's seat. Are you saying I must be rid of him? He's Ophelia's brother. Though I bear him no great love, it would tear her apart to lose him. Of course. Being a king involves making hard decisions. Decisions you know may hurt the ones you love. Horatio, I didn't think the advice that you would give would be to kill my brother. Laertes is a decision you must make. Were I in your place, he'd be gone by nightfall. Whoa, I thought Horatio was a better person than this. You've given me much to consider. Thanks, friend, as always.
I don't know what to do with that information. Wasn't there a quest line I did where Hamlet rekindled? Well, well not really rekindled. Hamlet, like, partially repaired their relationship with Laertes about the, the missing loot. I wonder if I did that, if that could change things here. Depends on what Hamlet decides, but I mean, like, if Hamlet does decide to kill Laertes, I wonder if them spending time together and talking things out somewhat would change Hamlet's mind and make them not kill Laertes. Ah, right, I just realized I can't talk to Laertes about this because they're not here. They left. I never told them to stay. Can we tell multiple people to give Hamlet advice? Like, how many people can give advice to Hamlet? Everybody? Should I pick and choose? Do I only want somebody who is going to say what I think is good advice to talk to Hamlet? That would make sense to me. Hmm. Making a king. Yeah. I think I can say it to everybody. Who do I want to give advice to Hamlet? I mean, Bernardo... Yeah, like, Bernardo's good. <laughs> what would happen if I asked Lady Brit? I'm curious. I, I have to try that. Lady Brit, where are you? You're in Gertrude's chambers. What are you doing in there? What's up? It's not an event. Just They're just hanging out in here. Oh, right. They're like the assistant to Gertrude. That's why they're in here. It's their job to just, like, maintain the place. Making a king. This should be very interesting. Brit. Can you encourage Hamlet to be a great king? He's seeking advice from friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, great might be an excessively lofty goal. Let's start with adequate. Eh. Fine. An adequate king. I'll take it. In that case, yes. I have a few choice words for him. Not that I expect him to listen. But I'll try all the same. Really? I didn't think Brit would even try. That's gonna happen very, very soon. 